All right, so today we're gonna learn how to paint this abstract painting in a style I call Metal Mayhem. All right, the question of the day is, who is Vicky Scurry? All right, let's run through the colors. Titanium white, Mars black, copper, Quinn orange, Quinn red, phthalo turquoise, primer yellow. All right, for this layer, what we're gonna do is gonna add in a burnt orange, as well as kind of copper highlights and probably a little bit of the turquoise to kind of control that. And we'll see how it, it goes on because it is wet still. Usually I wait till it's completely dry. It's not dry. So we'll see how that plays out. So Vicky Scurry uh, is quite an older artist. Um, I think she got her BA in 1980, um, I want to say, uh, back in Berkeley, UC Berkeley, and then later she went to an MFA in Wisconsin, and she did quite a, different, a lot of different design projects, and then she kind of started her own firm, which is just designing around um, kind of bridges, walkways, kind of public art displays. Really cool work, actually, uh, you know, really highly decorative, uh, a little bit geometrical, uh, but really fun kind of works that she does for you know, small governments or highway programs to kind of beautify the landscape. And she's been doing that quite a while, 20, 30 years. So quite prolific and quite successful. So that's kind of an interesting track. If you're an artist to kind of you can go into that, design your exterior art, landscape art, so to say. So that's the question of the day. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So we have this really nice copper breaking up uh, these streaks from the blue, green, some of the yellows forming kind of a lime green mixed with that blue. And then we have this orange overlay. Quite a lot of nice features in this painting. Um, it's really kind of block, blocky, broken down. Um, it has the best sense of kind of like this really square contrast, which I really wanted, and it really worked successfully in this painting. Um, it really has this really nice orange. It's really blue dominated in this versus other um, in this series that I just recently have more of an orange feel. Um, it has just the right amount of yellow, I'd say, just a little bit. Most people don't like yellow, so if you use yellow, it's always one of those dangerous colors where if it's kind of the limey, bright yellow, it's kind of like, I think a lot of clients don't really like that color per se. I don't mind it, it's fine. I'm an artist, so I like all the colors, but you know, people have their preferences, so you want to be a little bit careful when you mix that color, so to say. But I really like how the colors came together in this. And, you know, I was thinking yesterday of doing more layers, but this one in particular, I knew it was done when it was done. And then I'm like, ah, oh, do I want to work the other ones? They're not going to look the same. And so that was a real quandary of what to do coming in today. And then once it dried, they all dried really beautifully. So, you know, sometimes that happens with paintings. You just don't, they don't look like they look when they're wet especially with this particular style because I'm mixing gel so that makes the colors a lot lighter and then they dry darker. So you really have to be, let those layers dry and get a real sense of what the color is. Um, once they dry, then it's really hard to put the paint on top and blend it with the one below. So that's a danger, which yesterday I used a lot of mixing. It was still a little bit wet in the blue because the blue dries so slow, right? It's just that particular color dries slow. So I really liked how this turned out. Hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>